The second portion of Abraham's later interactions with others appears in chapter 20, verse 1 through verse 18. In this story, Abraham once again interceded for an inhabitant of the land, namely for Abimelech, the Philistine. You recall that Abimelech threatened Abraham's future by taking Sarah from Abraham, not knowing she was his wife. Then God brought judgment against Abimelech, and Abimelech proved to be righteous by repenting of his actions. As a result of this repentance, Abraham interceded on Abimelech's behalf, and Abraham and Abimelech enjoyed lasting peace and friendship with each other. This story spoke to the Israelites in Moses' day about the attitudes they were to have toward the Philistines living in their day. In a variety of ways, the Philistines threatened Israel. But when the threat of God's judgment brought repentance among the Philistines, the Israelites were to intercede on their behalf and to enjoy lasting peace with them. The third narrative of this section, found in chapter 21, verse 1 through verse 21, focuses on the difficult relationship between Isaac and Ishmael. Isaac and Ishmael were both sons of Abraham, but when tensions rose between them, God instructed Abraham to separate Ishmael from the family. God still blessed Ishmael, but made it very clear that Abraham's only rightful heir was Isaac. As Moses informed his original audience of these events, he helped them understand the nature of their relationship with the Ishmaelites of their day. When tensions rose between Israel and the Ishmaelites, the Israelites were to remember that God had ordained a separation between them. Although God blessed the Ishmaelites in many ways, the Israelites were the true heirs of Abraham. The fourth episode of Abraham's later interactions with others is the story of Abraham's treaty with Abimelech in chapter 21, verse 22 through verse 34. This story reports how the Philistine Abimelech acknowledged God's favor toward Abraham and how Abraham agreed to live in peace with Abimelech and his descendants. It goes on to tell how controversy arose over water rights for Abraham's sheep and how Abimelech and Abraham entered into a formal treaty at Beersheba pledging mutual respect and honor. Abimelech and his commander reminded Moses and the Israelites of the potent threat the Philistines were in their day. Here, Moses taught his followers that if the Philistines would acknowledge God's blessings on Israel, then Israel should follow Abraham's example and live in peace with them. The well called Beersheba still remained in Moses' day, reminding Israel of the treaty made there and of how they were to pursue peace and mutual honor with the Philistines. So we see that the stories of Abraham's later interactions involved many characters who corresponded to people whom Moses and Israel encountered. By looking at Abraham's actions, the Israelites could learn many lessons for their day. Now we come to the final step of Moses' record of Abraham's life, his progeny and death, in chapter 22, verse 1, through chapter 25, verse 18. These episodes focus on Abraham's legacy, which extended his covenant relationship with God to future generations. In general terms, the Israelites who first received these stories from Moses should have learned much about their own status as Abraham's heirs and about the hopes they were to have for their own progeny. The first episode in this portion of Abraham's life is the well-known story of Abraham's test in chapter 22, verses 1 through 24. This test was designed to determine if Abraham loved God more than he loved his son Isaac. God initiated a difficult test, calling Abraham to sacrifice his son. Abraham complied, and God assured Abraham that the result of his compliance would be a very bright future for Isaac. Although there were countless implications of this story for the Israelites following Moses, the most prominent feature of this passage was that it reminded them that God was testing the nation of Israel to see the depth of their loyalty to him. God initiated many tests for the nation of Israel in Moses' day, and Abraham's compliance to his test reminded them of their own need to comply with the tests that God set before them, no matter how difficult they were. 
and the affirmation of Isaac's grand future as Abraham's progeny reminded the Israelites of the grand future they themselves would have if they passed these tests.